Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Good morning and uh, praise the Lord. This is another wonderful day that the Lord has given to us. We will rejoice and be glad in it. As you're waking up this morning, I have a word for you. Trusting God that this week, as we begin this week together, I'll be helping us to go through the series on the promise of the Spirit. And I believe God is going to minister to you. And this morning, I want to talk to us briefly about intimacy with God through the Spirit. Intimacy with God through the Spirit. Now, when you read the Bible, in the book of Galatians chapter 3, verses 3, 13 to 14, the Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. The promise of the Spirit is received through faith. And as we talk about having intimacy through the Spirit, we need to understand that this promise of the Spirit is received by faith. And I want to encourage you this morning that if you can have faith in God, you can have faith in what God wants to do through you, you are going to be a blessed man. It was foretold that the Holy Spirit would be given to God's people to make the new covenant a reality. I was reading the book of Ezekiel 36 and 27, and I realized that the Spirit, Holy Spirit, will be given to God's people to make a new covenant. And I know you are a child of God. You're somebody who believes in God. And uh, the Spirit of God is given to God's people to make a new covenant a reality. I know we talk about the covenant of God, but I want to encourage you in the name of the Lord that what makes that covenant a reality is the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. No wonder Joel said in Joel chapter 2, verses 28 and 29, that in the, the, the last days, your daughters, your sons, your old men will receive the Spirit. And, and, and I want to encourage you, peradventure at your own time, you can get time to read the book of John chapter 7, verses 37 to 39. And then you appreciate why it is important to have intimacy with God through the Spirit. When we talk about the word intimacy, I don't know what comes into your mind, but we are called upon to have intimacy with God through the Spirit. That's the only way we can enjoy God. That is the only way we can feel God. That's the only way we can walk in line and uh, in tune with God. When we have intimacy with God through the Spirit. You know the story of Mary. Mary received the Son through the Spirit. And this is the intimacy we are talking about. When we do it right, we do it correctly, that becomes a blessing. And uh, in Jesus' farewell discourse in John chapter 13, in chapter 17, Jesus spoke of the coming of the Spirit. In John chapter 14, verses 16 to 18, we see Jesus telling the disciples that he will not leave them as often, but he will send them a comforter. And this was fulfilled at Pentecost. We all know what happened during the Pentecost. At the day, you will know that I am in my Father and you in me and I in you, John 14, 20. When the Spirit comes in that day, we will know our union with Christ. Listen to me, somebody. Our intimacy with God through the Spirit is very, very important. And when we connect with the Spirit of God, we will enjoy our salvation. We will enjoy our walk with the Lord. 
And I challenge you this morning, if there's one thing you need to look at and look for is your intimacy with the Holy Spirit. And even as you go to your place of work, as you go to your business, as you go to different places this morning, maybe you are just at home, I want to encourage you that can you enjoy the intimacy with God through His Spirit? And this is only possible when you also accept the Spirit of God to come and indwell you. I want to pray with you in the name of Jesus. And I'm praying, probably you're not enjoying this intimacy. Probably you're not enjoying the benefits, the blessings of being a child of God because of missing this intimacy with God through His Spirit. You can just call upon the name of the Lord and tell God, God, please fill me with your Spirit and God will do it for you. Let's pray even as you go to your place of work in Jesus' name. Our God and our Father, the great I am, you are reminding us this morning that we can have our intimacy with you through the Spirit. We are praying for the Holy Spirit. We are praying for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. We are praying for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Father, help us as your children to understand and to know the place of the Holy Spirit in our relationship with you. Pray for this sister. Pray for this brother as they go to their places of work. May your spirit direct them. May your spirit lead them, O oh God, to the glory and honor of your name. I thank you and I worship you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you and have a blessed morning. A morning that is full of hope. A morning that is full of favor. Let's meet again tomorrow morning, the same time, the same place. In Jesus' name. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoran. And our website is eldorat.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.